Okay, I'm playing um, two tables of Pot Limit Omaha on um, Full Tilt. I'm trying to start off with uh, two tables and um, we'll see how the commentating goes. Um, if I'm able to do it quick enough. I might add a third table. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, one of the things I wanted to discuss is, um, well, first of all, preflop, um, preflop edge, uh, preflop hand selection, and uh, you know things like raising an early position, uh, which which hands you should do that with, which hands you shouldn't. Um, and why um, early position uh, I mean uh, Omaha is just as much a, of a, uh, a position game as Hold'em is um, but the, the the big difference is that your hand equity hand equities in Hold'em um, heads up with somebody can can be uh, very very different than uh, Omaha which can be which are never really that far away from each other um, except in ex extreme cases so a lot of times raising preflop in uh, PLO is not um, not your best choice uh, a lot of times you want to limp uh, and see a flop and really you have to learn how to gain a post flop edge and learn how to play post flop uh, in order to win at this game. Preflop is really there's uh, it's just it's I wouldn't say it's the opposite of Hold'em but in Hold'em you really have to learn how to play preflop before you can get better playing later streets and in uh, Parliament Omaha um, preflop is not quite as it is important uh, you can't discount the importance of preflop play but it's not as important as learning to read hands and play post flop um, one of the the big things you'll see is that people will probably at this level anyway will call um, big raises with um, a hand that you'll you'll see it showdown. They might have the winning hand, but um, you'll see they call a raise with like you know um, nine six six ten double suited.